In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at placing a work plane tangent to a cone. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch running through the middle of the cone. And I'm then going to slice the graphics or hit F7, which will give me a cut through the entire solid. Once I've got the slice graphics up there, I want to click on project cut edges, and this will give me purple projection lines through the solid. And the next thing I need to do is to create a work plane parallel to the one that's running through the middle of the solid, but on the end of the point at that little line in the front. And I've then just flipped it to normal. Next thing I'm doing is I'm creating a uh, work axis at the intersection point of the front face of the cone and the newly created plane. The last plane is created on the edge of the axis and the top of the top face of the cone, and that gives me my tangent work plane. I can then offset this tangent work plane. And once I've done that, I'm able to create a feature on here. So maybe I want to create a, a boss going down um, perpendicular to the cone. So I can do that. I'm just going to quickly constrain the circle. Maybe give it a size. And once I've done that, I can come out of the sketch and I can now extrude that sketch to next and I can hide my work planes and you'll now see that I have my perpendicular feature. Thank you for having a look.